We have our two-handled hauler here. We're going to quickly go over how to operate it. The longer video shows me running it and taking it all apart. Here what we're going to do is just quickly show you how this operates. We have a hopper feed here, a slide. The rice would get put in here. You're going to take this nut here, is a lock nut. It determines the gap between the rollers. And what we're going to do on this situation is we're going to make the rollers so they actually touch each other. And then this spring here is actually only finger tight. You can see, let me pull it. That is opening it up right there. So the rice is going to drop in. And all you do is this one goes twice as fast as this one. Actually, I run this one a lot slower because it's also my feed, so this one goes pretty fast. And that's how easy this is to operate. You run a few through, check how you're doing, maybe make this gap a little smaller, make this so that they're even. Now the rest of this video is going to be a top view down as I process the rice that's laying right here. This I processed already. This was our separator. It's just a sheet of uh, plastic with eighth inch holes in it. Initially we drilled our own holes but we bought that one. So now we're just going to show you the top view of this and that's how easy this is to operate. So now we're going to haul some long grain rice that we grew here in Delaware. The rice is going to spill off of this roller which is covered with sandpaper. It's going to drop down here in between our pinch points. We have these two rollers set so that they are in contact most of the time. This over here, these two, are springs. We've actually only had these springs finger tight. They're quite stiff, so you may be able to use other uh, springs, but these have about uh, 100 pounds per inch of compression. This right here is our uh, adjustment to set the gaps. We have it on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and start hauling some rice. I'm going to, before I start it, I'll do this as my fast roller. Then this one is my slow roller. Let's get this rice started. I'm going to get this one going first. There's the rice just dropping through. The slow one, I just want to make sure that I don't go the same speed. I got to go slower. Rice is just dropping in and being hauled. So there's how that goes through. Just drops in. So we've hauled the long grain rice once. Now we're going to run it through again. I open my chute up. Get this one going. Oops, let me get this container in here to catch the rice. The slow roller, I just run it nice and slow. I'm actually controlling the feed is what I'm more worried about than it going fast or slow. It's a shear action that uh, causes the husks to come off. The two rollers One's going a little faster, having both of them run draws the rice in. And then I get a shear action because one's going faster than the other. Now we're going to do it a couple more times. So we've now hauled this rice twice. I'm going to try to get it in here so you can see where we are. Now we're going to do it again. So this is our third pass. We are not separating in between. Get this back in there. So again, this has been through. 
few times. This is our third pass. And as the rice goes through, every time, some of those holes that don't come off, they are damaged, so they come off easier. Okay. So now that we've run it three times, we're up into the 90 plus percentile maybe 95 96 percent we're gonna run it again just to see what happens open up my chute get this one going this is my fast roller my slow roller going. Now we would like to separate this, but we don't know how to separate the long grain rice. The short grain rice, I can separate that out. But this uh, long grain, the, the difference just isn't great enough between the husk and unhusk. Commercial units all separate, so they don't have to rerun any of the rice. So now we made four passes. We're going to stop there. It's at probably 99%, but those one few grains that are still have husks on would have to be picked out individually. Now let's process some uh, short grain rice. So we're going to process some short grain rice. From the other videos you should know how this was built. To operate it we have this slide that goes up and down. The rice is going to be poured in here. This is a quarter cup of uh, unholed rice. We have these two belts that drive our feed rollers. We've adjusted this gap in between here by using these two lock nuts that are on here we can in and out this way then on each side are springs these springs I've only got them finger tight you can see that I can move this spring with my hand I can also move this one this one's a little tighter so when you're gonna go do this You want to run a few grains through and see what you get. The idea is to not make this too tight because if you make it too tight you put in a lot of work that you don't need to do to haul it. So I've got this my fast one, my slow one. Getting ready to add some rice. I've opened up my chute. The rice is going to start dropping through. I would now stop and check it to see what level of hauling I've got, what my rate is. I would uh, maybe make these springs a little tighter, but uh, it should be fine. So I'm going to run this through pretty fast. Uh, I was actually running my feed roller too fast. You want to keep that feed roller slow, this slow roller over here. So that was one pass. Let me go. So I've just made one pass. I'm going to uh, use my separator. These are uh, a sheet of plastic that has a uh, 1 8 inch holes in it. I don't need it to be perfect because I'm going to run this again. Now we're going to run that through. I got about a 60% pass rate on that. Let me get my container here. All 
Okay, so I'm only now hauling the rice that wasn't hauled in my first pass. Got to go winnow it. So now we've hauled this rice, has been hauled twice. We've already separated it out once. So we get about this 60 to 70 percent. I'm going to put it on my separator, get the rice to drop through. I'm going to um, take this that's unhauled, run it through. It's not that much. This will be the third pass for this rice. Let this one run. Get my catch in there. I'm going to go winnow this. We'll see what we get. Here's our long grain and short grain rice that we just processed today. This is the uh, long grain. Four passes. We did not separate. We just had, we did winnow. We just kept running it through the system. This is the short grain. We did three passes, but we only processed the unhauled patty. So we had our little separator and as you can see on the left that's the hauled rice here's the unhauled rice.